tonight, a 41 Action News investigation into why the elderly, unable to care for themselves, are having to fight for long-term health care they've already paid for. Now, you may be surprised that you know some big names affected, both the carrier and the people fighting for claims. Here's investigator Russ Potosik. Russ? Hey, Mark and Krista. By the time we visited the woman you're about to meet, we'd uncovered dozens of other elderly residents in Kansas and Missouri claiming the same bureaucratic nightmare with the same company. Banker's Life and Casualty. At 93 years old, Miriam Mills often doesn't even recognize her own son. Oh, mom, dad's been dead about five years. Oh, my. While an assisted living facility in Neosho, Missouri cares for Mills, her son, Greg, has created the website bankers-life.info to expose his mother's insurance battle with Bankers Life. I'm pretty angry. <laughs> bankers will love this. He anticipates the day executives there see his take on Bankers Life's brand online. Yes, I do. They are going to squirm. His site details his mother's health care costs, months of phone calls, faxes, registered letters, and documentation to prove her claims. We've laid out $165,000 out of the family funds. Bankers has paid not one cent. You can't imagine how frustrating it was. When Kathy Wolf Moore needed help for her 82-year-old mom, she couldn't get a call back either, she says. What Bankers Life didn't know is that that daughter works in the Kansas capital as a state representative. Not until I finally um, told them that I was going to call the insurance commission in the news media, and that's when I finally got a call back. Representative Wolf Moore found a sympathetic ear in the niece of this man who had his own insurance battle with Banker's Life. That niece is Sandy Prager, the Kansas insurance commissioner, a title she says likely surprised Banker's Life. They were probably a little dismayed, <laughs> but, you know, the name wasn't the same, so, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. A little bit ironic. Prager says Banker's Life finally paid her uncle's insurance claim, but the family is still considering canceling. Where's your room? My room? It's at home. I, I live in Kansas City. Yeah. Yeah. Greg Mills's mother, the insurance commissioner's uncle, and Representative Wolf Moore's mom are not alone. There's another letter in here back from 2005. Records show more than half of all long-term complaints filed in 2010 in Kansas, 24 were against Bankers Life. And Missouri's registry shows out of 100 agencies, Bankers Life received nearly a quarter of the complaints from 2008 through 2010. In 2008, the National Association of Insurance Commissioners announced a $2.3 million fine against Conseco, the parent company of Bankers Life, due to a pattern of what it called consumer harm. Six months, we haven't received a dime. Hey, Your thank sweetheart. You. Hey, thank you. And unless Bankers Life acts soon, Greg Mills fears his mother could die a bankrupt woman. Bankers Life declined interview requests, but did give us a statement saying, We make every attempt to work with our policyholder. In 2011, bankers paid in excess of $400 million on long-term care claims. Bankers Life has since paid Representative Wolf Moore's mom. Commissioner Prager's uncle got paid, but she says these new complaints could still lead to new action against Bankers Life and Casualty, and still not a penny for the mills, they are continuing their complaint, and the family is trying to get resolution. In fact, they asked Bankers Life to discuss this case with us, hoping to get it resolved. Bankers Life says they can't because of privacy concerns. You can see why they're so frustrated when you expect it to be there. Now, what can consumers do to protect themselves so they don't end up in a situation like this? Well, experts suggest you go to your state insurance commissioner's website and look for what's called a complaint ratio. You want the insurance company that has the lowest percentage of complaints compared to the amount of business that they do. If you already have have a problem, you can go to the same site, file a complaint. We have links to that at KSHB.com. All right, makes sense. Thanks, Russ. You bet.